Today on the Stay at Home Chef, I'm showing you how to make the best homemade hot fudge sauce. This stuff puts the store-bought jar to absolute shame, and it only requires six ingredients to make it. It's super tasty, you're gonna love it. Start by melting half a cup of butter in a saucepan over medium-low heat. I'm using salted butter for this because that's what I have. If you're using unsalted butter, add in a pinch of salt. Next, we'll add in a third a cup of unsweetened cocoa powder. Put that in there. Add in two cups of sugar, two thirds a cup of chocolate chips, and a 12 ounce can of evaporated milk. Start stirring this. Now on those chocolate chips, you can use either semi-sweet or milk chocolate. It's a matter of personal preference and I myself am a milk chocolate kind of girl. Next, I'm gonna crank up the heat and bring this to a boil. Don't worry if there's any lumps in the mixture, we'll take care of that later. Just keep on stirring until it comes to a complete boil. Once it comes to a boil, immediately reduce the heat to low and let it simmer for seven minutes. It helps if you set a timer for this. So just keep on stirring for that entire seven minutes. Once time is up, remove it from the heat and add in one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Don't worry about stirring the vanilla in because our next step is to pour this all into a blender. And of course, do be careful because this is hot. Our blender is gonna smooth out our sauce and not just because of the blade. It pumps in a lot of air and aeration is required to create a smooth chocolate. I'm gonna let this blend for two whole minutes. When blending hot liquids, it's important that you have a way for the steam to escape. Otherwise, pressure will build up and you'll have an explosive hot mess on your hands. I like to pour mine into a couple of mason jars to keep. You can use this right away or store it for later use. Just pop it into the microwave to warm it up again. This will stay good in the fridge for several weeks. Thanks for watching. You can find the full written recipe as well as the metric measurements in the video description. Be sure to subscribe and check out the rest of my channel where you can find hundreds of restaurant quality recipes you can easily make at home. See you later.